itself Ravi Kumar. Now I am explaining how to construct the hexagonal lamina in isometric scale. So isometric scale means it's a 30 degree, 30 degree scale. So measure the first complete dimensions of hexagonal, horizontal length and vertical length. Then that you know at this distance, if you measure all these dimensions, it's quite easy to construct the thing. So first I'll take see this horizontal line I'll take a left hand side and vertical side I'll take a right hand side. So I'll take a line. So here visible line I'll take. So I'll select any one reference point here. So this side means this is my right hand side. So right hand side I'll take 60 angle is 30 degree. Okay, then this side will take angle, you know, dimension will be 51.96. See this dimension you need to take six. 51.96 then angle will be 150 degree okay so 150 degree angle is 150 degree enter see after that again you need to choose this dimension because the two two lines are parallel okay in the as a matrix so 60 minus 150 then you join okay so after that is you know select this is it should be in a project you know this is a if it is a projection line, it's quite easy to construct. Okay, I'll tell you two methods here. One is I'll take the line, okay, I'll take visible line. So first see 60 side will be having a 15 mm, 15 mm means two points. So this is a 60 side and this one is a 51.96 side. So from this point I'll take then I'll place 15 mm point on 30 degree line. Okay. And similarly, I'll take this side also. So 15 mm point. Okay. So it is minus 150 degree. Okay. Na? So next I'll get, you know, I'll, uh, after that, again from this side, I'll take 15 mm. Next, minus 150 degree. Okay. Next, I'll take this side, this end point side, 15 mm. 30 degree okay after that you'll take a midpoint so you'll take line visible line so join from here okay one two two sorry okay take a line so from end point to the again end point then here you take a midpoint midpoint so midpoint yeah so next end point next end point next i'll take take midpoint end point next end point okay so this is the one method to construct hexagonal in isoscale okay so this is the one method to construct hexagonal in isoscale so what else is second method is take again visible line okay visible line so again I'll take you no know, 60 is a right hand side and 51.96 will be left hand side. So first I'll take a 60 angle is 30 degree. Next 51.96 angle is 150 degree. Next 60 angle is minus 150 degree and join. Okay. After that I go for arc by center point. Okay, arc by center point. So similarly from this point, so if we 60 on 60 mm line will be decut this into two parts. One is 15 mm. Okay. Cut. So next similarly from the opposite side, means other other side. So 15 mm. Cut. So from this point, 15 mm. Again from this side, 15 mm. Cut. Okay. Country what? One mm. So next, slip line. So go for joining. See from this point to end point, end point. Next midpoint next end point next end point next midpoint next end point so this is the
So then another method to construct the hexagonal in isoscale. You can choose any one method, whichever is comfortable, you can go with that. So this is how to construct the penta hexagonal in isometric scale. The next I'll go for pentagonal. So pentagonal area also similarly, you need to find out the all dimensions whichever you require, horizontal, vertical, and then small dimensions you require, you should find out. So here also same thing, I'll go for I'll go to visible line. So 48.56 will take right hand side and 46.7 will take left hand side. So I'll take 48.54 and angle is 30 degree, 46.17 angle is 150 degree. Next 48.54 angle is minus 150 degree. Next join. Okay. So go for R. Okay, go for R. See 48.54. You require a two line. So this is a 48.54 line. So one is 9.27, and other other side is also same. 9.27 and Next is on 46.17, you require a 28.53 point. So 28.53. Okay, and similarly, this side also 28.53. 28.53, and opposite side will be midpoint. Okay, so then go to trim at one side. Now go for line joining. Okay, so end point, end point, end point, so midpoint, end point, end point, end point. Okay, so trim the lines. See, this is how to construct pentagonal in isoscale. So next other method similar way 48.4 30 degree 46.17 minus 150 degree sorry sorry let's take line 48.54 30 degree 46.17 Visible line, okay. Go for visible line. So here we take two lines. One is a nine point two seven. Angle is thirty degree. Next other side, nine point two seven. Angle is one fifty degree minus one fifty degree. Okay. Next this side and take line is twenty eight point twenty eight point. 253 28.53 angle is 150 degree so that side is not required and directly join or else you can take no problem 28.53 angle is 150 degree okay so take a line again similarly see end point to end point end point end point end point from this point to the Next, midpoint, next, endpoint, next, endpoint. So delete the lines. So this is how to construct the pentagonal in exascale. Next, I'll go for how to construct the triangle, square, and circle. This is the very important thing. So, as usual, triangle. If the triangle is also seen, I need to find out the Complete dimensions. Next, vertical dimension. So vertical dimension is 30. On horizontal is 25.98. So similarly, we'll take visible line. See, 20, 30 is right hand side, and 25.98 in left hand side. So 150 degree. 30 minus 
minus 150 degree next join this is a very simple to construct the triangle C midpoint next join it's completed so this is how to construct the triangle so next similarly this one square square is very simple all sides are equal 30 angle is 30 30 angle is 150 30 angle is minus 150 join so this is how to construct the square next is very important is circle very very important so you have taken here 50 mm diameter so you consider the 50 mm square 50 angle is 30 50 angle is 150 50 angle is minus 150 then join see whatever the diameter of the circle so if it is a 30 mm diameter you need to construct the 30 mm square if it is a 50 you need to construct the 50 mm square so 60 60 mm square 100 100 mm square okay based on that you need to go for constructing the circles here and take from this point this to the opposite edge midpoint Similarly, from this point, opposite edge, midpoint. So from this point, opposite edge, midpoint. From this point, opposite edge, midpoint. Okay. Now, if you are getting confusion, so do the naming. So this one is one. And this one is two. So one two three and one two four two two five and two two six. So here go for you know arc by center point see from this point to the 4 r 3 okay 4 r 3 again see midpoint to the midpoint okay so next similarly opposite side 2 to 3 2 to 5 sorry 2 to 5 2 to 5 so 2 to 5 to 6 okay after that see mid intersection point of these two car intersection point of these two curves so next up to the four so if you are not getting here you just press alt and join okay up to where end point okay then similarly on this side is also intersection between the line okay to the point three or point five you can take any one then you can join okay see so this is the line you get the See, this is how to consider the square circle square triangle then pentagonal then hexagonal okay this is these are the very important thing for problem solving in the ISO. so thank you thank you for watching this if you want more video please subscribe subscribe to our channel thank you